Justine. That was the song my mother sang to me to put me to sleep. And it's the same song I sing to my son and now my niece. For as long as I can remember, I have always seen my family and many other families on the Navajo Reservation wrap or swaddle their infants and put them in a cradle board. But, of course, I was wrong. Um, so, there are many different ways to put a child to sleep, and I'm going to show you one of the many ways of using a cradle board. First, I will describe the parts of the cradle board, then I will show you how to wrap the baby and place her inside the cradle board. This is a cradle board. There are many different kinds. Um, they're not all like this. Some of them come in cloths. Some of them don't have this bent board in the front. But with my family, this is what I grew up in. And this is what my son grew up in. And this is what my niece will grow up in. Usually, traditionally, the fathers of the infants are the ones who construct the, the cradle boards for their babies. The right side of the back here represents Mother Earth. The left side represents Father Sky. And the wood used to construct this cradle board is, is pine. Um, the, the headboard here represents a rainbow to protect the baby's head if the cradle board should fall. It's shaved so thin so it could be bent and placed just like this. These holes here represent ears. This down here is a, a foot holster. It keeps the baby's feet in place. These loops represent lightning. It straps the baby in securely. And these loops in this string right here are buckskin. And they're, they're dipped in red pollen to for prayers so the baby won't get nightmares. So I'm going to take my niece out. This is my niece. Her name is Talea. She's only two months old. In my culture, we wrap our babies on their back. When we wrap the, the, the babies, we make sure that the blanket is nice and folded just like this. We put one arm to the side, and we put another to the side. We put the bottom portion and tuck it in so she's nice and warm. This pad here, it's to place inside the cradle board. It's specifically made for this cradle board. 
and it's it's padded because it will help form the baby's head because they are constantly on their back and it will allow them to form a nice round head. This is how we swaddle. And then we place them in the cradle board just like this. And we have to make sure that her head is aligned right underneath the rainbow. Now usually when we swaddle or strap them down in their cradle board, we sing to them. We, it's help, it helps soothe them and it relaxes them. And usually for some reason they know that they're gonna get you know, strapped in and they enjoy it. So I grab this long strap here and I go through each loop one at a time. And now it doesn't it doesn't hurt her at all. She actually enjoys it. It keeps her, it just reminds her of being inside the womb. do laundry, I would wash the dishes, and I would put him on a chair just like this, and it did not harm him. It, it actually made him feel really good, and he slept in it, and he played in it. Sometimes you can take their arms out, and they can, they sit in it just like this, and it's just like a baby carrier. You can put it in front of you, you can put it behind you, and you can carry them around like that, and it doesn't harm them at all. Once again, I've taught you the description of the cradle board, how to wrap a baby in the blanket, and how to place her inside the cradle board. <laughs> 